guys want a shot at winning a copy of Call of Duty World War II for the console of your choice for absolutely free, a couple of my friends and I are doing a little giveaway. Link is down there in the description below. Go check it out if you're interested. We're running out of time to do some Black Ops 3 content here on the channel simply because World War II is right around the corner and one of my favorite comparison things to do within Black Ops 3 that you guys in the past have seemed to enjoy also deals with comparing the last generation version of Black Ops 3 to something in particular. And this one, we're going to be taking a look at it, not necessarily a version of Black Ops 3 compared to something that we go back in time, but instead we're going to take a look at Black Ops 3 compared to the lowest possible settings for World War II on the PC. So that said, with the World War II beta having passed on the PC as of recently, we got to look at some absolutely fantastic gameplay. We got to look at things of 4K native resolution, as well as what could be way lower than that of what would be acceptable to even console standards. So that said, while we can drop it down to the lowest possible setting around, does it stack up? Does it turn out worse than Black Ops 3 on last gen? Does it turn out better? That's something that we're going to be taking a look at here just for a little bit of fun. So as with the other comparisons we've done here, in no way, shape, or form am I trying to rag on one or the other. It's just something that is curious to me and something that I think is, again, a little bit of fun to take a look at comparing the two here and there. So let's start out with the older of the two, Black Ops 3 on last generation. This is something that we've talked about time and time again here with this, whether or not you want to believe in the fact that the console hardware ends up restricting a lot of what the developmental process could have done with it to give that final product not necessarily up to par with a lot of people, that including 30 frames per second, tons of textures missing, all sorts of different things like that. And personally, I believe it's kind of a mix of the developmental choice and also a little bit of what we saw at the very, very tail end of a console generation. A lot of stuff really does become tough to put into that smaller package, but what we got in Black Ops 3 really was not necessarily the greatest thing by any standards. Once again, missing a ton of different features. We only ended up getting actually up to DLC 1 and Black Ops 3 on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. There wasn't any updates to the black market. If I'm not mistaken, there was no campaign even, and so there was a ton of stuff that really was missing from the core launch of the game, but also whenever time progressed, those updates that the current generation ended up getting weren't not able to be applied to the last generation version of the game for, once again, whatever reasoning. Of course, it very well may be that it's the tail end of that console generation and there just was not any space to allocate those sorts of things to add in, or it could be whatever you think it is here with it. Whatever it is though, there were a ton of things that did not make it into the last generation version and the build of Black Ops 3, but if we flash over to World War II, this is kind of a little bit of a hopeful piece because once again while it is the newer title and PC does allow it to go down to this quality 99% of the time you're not going to be playing at this and that's the one thing that it kind of takes a 180 reversal on the stance and what we're talking about in the subject matter but World War II's PC version is allowing for a lot of people to access it obviously once again this sort of gameplay you're seeing right now is the absolute worst possible gameplay that you'll have across PC not even up with any of the other consoles so that said with it being able to drop down to this it allows for people with necessarily not anywhere near the the greatest PCs to be able to play the game and take part in and enjoy the game for what they can at that point. Whereas you could also bump it up to 4K native resolution. And of course, it's still absolutely insanely beautiful. It plays fluently there as well. Well optimized, surprisingly, which is very nice to see coming from the PC port of the game as well too. So nonetheless, while once again, this is the lowest quality, 99% of the time, you're not going to end up seeing it like this. But one thing that does strike me is that there's still a lot of defining characteristics within this incredibly low res version of the game. And what we end up being able to compare World War II to Black Ops 3 in that sense is that once again, while it is different years and for the first time in these comparisons, something of a newer title, it does kind of stack up towards it, but I think that I'd still honestly take World War II over Black Ops 3 on last gen. Because while you can turn down the resolution to be 480p, you can change the textures a little bit and the shadowing and all that kind of stuff, the core design elements are still there to give defining details. Whereas in Black Ops 3 on last gen, a lot of it was just stripped to bare poly models. And so therefore, I think it's still more aesthetically pleasing in World War II and almost just looks as if it's like a 1990s or 1980s TV show in which you can still clearly make out what you're playing. It just has a little bit of a 
fuzzy feel to it. But nonetheless, it comes down to preference, I think, here. And once again, this is the last time we'll ever make one of these last gen comparison videos. So I figured what better way to do these sort of comparisons. Instead of going back in time, let's go forward to what we're all looking forward to both here up on the channel and hopefully you guys are as well looking forward to putting in your consoles or on your PC in just under a few weeks time. So that said, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you think one is better than the other? And if so, which one do you like more? World War II or Black Ops 3 on last generation? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War II. We're gonna be killing it with content coming up into the launch and therefore then after. So if any of it interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And finally, if you guys wanna follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys wanna strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Monotone Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.